What's poppin' everybody and welcome back to the brand new episode. In the first episode on my YouTube channel called The Murder on the Orient Express Agatha Christie. If you haven't heard about this, I don't know, maybe you heard, maybe you didn't, but uh, I think 90% of the people heard about this crazy mystery is Hercule Poirot. If you haven't heard about him, just Google it. It's the craziest book ever. I think there's a book. Actually, I saw a movie, to be honest, and it's one of the craziest movies so far. I love it. So I'm not sure, and I can't really remember is it by the movie, but I just randomly found this game, and I said, like, let's just record it. Let's make a serial. And when I Google it, it has nine and a half hours of gameplay. So just to paint the picture, this is a longer or, uh, uh, yeah, a longer serial than Atlas Fallen was. So be sure to sit down, relax, and enjoy some Hercule Poirot Murder on the Orient Express Agatha Christie. It is going to be crazy. I think it's the replicated version of a movie or, or a book. I can't exactly remember how it goes and what happens because I watched it a long time ago. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys will like it. And this is something I just came across super randomly because I wanted to now... Finish Shrine 5 Clockwork exp uh, Conspiracy and then continue with uh, Sherlock Holmes, the new Sherlock Holmes, then Miles Morales. Then we had so many games and also Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is the craziest thing. That's like the number one thing I want to do. But unfortunately, or well, fortunately, maybe for some good, for some maybe bad. Murder on the Orient Express is such a cool game. The action and the thing is happening on the train. You, you you guys will probably see it in a couple of minutes. But it's kind of same as Sherlock Holmes. Just it's newer and it came out a couple of months or even days ago. So be sure to sit down and relax and watch some uh, episodes. Because this is going to be crazy good. I guarantee you that. So just let's go to the new game and... Let's see what Murder on the Orient Express bring us, because this could be the craziest game we have played so far. So, just to paint, ju just to paint a picture, this is really good. I also have to check out, is this mic the connected? Yeah, okay, beautiful. This is the correct mic I have. Perfect. Test, 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 test. Maybe there needs a little bit of boost, though. Is this advanced? I'm not quite sure how this goes though. You put it in zero one. Oh, you could. You can. You can. I can boost it. But I'm not sure if it's good though. So we also have this thingy here that we can just pull all over the place. But I'm not quite sure if this is going to work as it needs to work. So I would rather just keep it tight like this on the half of the way. Uh, I know sound just to me personally sounds 20 freaking times better talking like this, but uh, I just can't manage to do it because it will just take so much uh it is not really doable in some sense that's just me maybe I, I don't know but let's see what Agatha Christie has to offer 99 percent uh, I heard the new it's a new game you need such a good PC for it so I'm not sure how it it will run on mine I didn't even check it I just got into the game and I said like let's just record it because it sounds so freaking cool and I want to check it out I want to record it uh, I want to see what this game brings and I'm not sure if it even works, but I hope it does because it's like a newer game and I know you need a super beast PC. But my PC is running good, my PC is really good, so I thought it it it, it can run it. But we are kind of stuck on 99% at the moment. But yeah, uh, let's just take the advantage of this. Uh, okay, nothing. I'll just check it out. To Cotillion Hotel Istanbul, December 15th, 2018. 2023, 9 a.m. Sorry, guys, I have to um, boost up sound. Okay. This is Hercule Poirot. He's the main character, I assume, and he is going to be the one we are going to play with it. He has iPhone. The development you predicted in the Kessner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have <laughs> predicted it? <laughs> well, my friend is Parfois. 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 My friend is this here. Okay, so basically I am French and this is some sort of I go to Miss Bank uh use okay. Yeah. So basically what I was saying it's basically same as uh Sherlock Holmes 
and it's pretty freaking cool because he's also really intelligent and he also can like connect the dots same same as uh Holmes could also press e is it truly you my friend look it is indeed me what brings you so far from home a little affair in Syria an affair of the heart no, no <laughs> the not the flip an affair of recovering stolen artifacts but now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately this evening you travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. If the director of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. Oh, he's also I'll going there. Of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her minor in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your friend. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to what know the if there is food for minors on board. Insects, uh, small amphibians, baby rodents. Baby... Rodents? Of course, princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. Okay. Oh, okay. So these are probably the characters are going to be on board. Yes, Clark. One moment, sir. Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh, dear. Oh. oh. You travel by the Orient Express, monsieur? Arbuthnot. Captain Archibald Arbuthnot. Formerly British Army, now retired. And yes, I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? Okay, interesting. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. <laughs> yes, sir. But I must make that train. A train ticket. Yesterday, I recovered artifacts worth several millions. Please, my friend. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. Very well, I will investigate. Okay, so it's going to be our first case, basically, to find the ticket to, and bring it back to the, per to the person he's finding. Uh, the track to the Captain Arbit mind map. The press, uh, the player screen. The objective is represented by this icon. Open the mind map for more. Uh, tap to open the mind map. Oh, so it's kind of the ripoff of Holmes, but hey, I, I suppose I should offer my assistance. Even if the task is beneath me, the only great spells must be exercised. I will offer my help. Uh, Captain Arbit has lost his ticket. To the Orient Express. My friend Book has asked me to investigate. Okay. Okay, okay, uh, so first of all, uh, what I just realized from the story is basically that Holmes is on his way to Syria and uh, he has to leave the Syria, I assume, and he has to go back to England, which is at the moment happening. So he has to take the Orient Express. I think the entire story is going to happen on Orient Express because that's kind of the, well, the logical thinking but uh so if we open the mind map if i'm not mistaken it says talk to captain arbit not whatever the heck his name is so that's this guy how do you know your ticket has been stolen mm, good question though in my room. i came down here to breakfast and when i got back my ticket was gone and other things were on the floor as if they'd been tossed about hello monsieur i suggest we begin in your room will you lead the way how to find a ticket? New new node. Press tab. You can access the workshop. Open and complete. Okay. Talk to Captain Arbden. You can now uh, access the workshop. Open and complete. Oh, really? Captain lost his train ticket in his room. I'll see what clues I can find there. Okay. Uh, how do I find a ticket? I'm not quite sure. But we did this part, so it's nice. Now we have the second one. Okay, so we are... Getting like closer and closer to the part. So this is like the start, how to find a ticket. Then we got 
the first one that's talked to the Arbinoid, whatever the heck his name is. We also have hints, but I don't really need hints, I think. No, I, I don't want to do hints. Can I just exit? How do I... Oh, how to find the ticket. What can be done to find the captain's ticket? Connect the elements on the left with those on the right. Search the neighbors, the door, or no. Interrogate the neighbors and inspect the bedroom. No, 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 Not no. good. Search the bedroom, interrogate the neighbors and inspect the door. That's how it goes. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing, but it's much more simpler. I, I love the Hercule Poirot thing because he's also the Sherlock Holmes, kind of one of the most famous like those type of person but uh it's much more cooler and cartoonish and it's much more uh, uh, uh user friendly than it is on the homes because you have to think about homes this is like much easier to complete and do the quests and it's 10 hours long so guys be prepared because this is going to be our new serial for a month probably and it just came out of nowhere because i saw i saw hercoporo and i was like i have to do it i don't give a flip Oh, she was in the elevator. Interesting. Interesting. Floor, Captain Arbutnot, fourth floor. Ooh, one mystery solved. One mystery solved. What? Okay. Oh, I so I also have to press like number four. Okay. Who is she though? I suppose I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. Okay. Uh, nationality, French, British, Swiss, French, no, British Army, I think he's British, though. Garden, I heard just a retired captain, age, I'll say 45. Is that, that's correct, beautiful, because he was in the British Army, so you have to actually pay attention to the things they're saying. Okay, beautiful. Uh, character analyzes our special workshop. Once completed, the analyzed character will appear in the character tabs in the pause menu. Press escape button to open the pause menu. Okay, so we have the book, or oh, book, which is 52 years old, Belgian director of the Wagon List, Litz company, which is the Orient Express. And we also have the Arbutut, well, I can't really spell his name, I'm sorry. British retired captain in 45 years of... Uh, I have a moustache collected in the chapter. I have like a moustache. Also the mystery that we have. Okay, beautiful. Perfect, perfect. Game scene is quite in in interesting. And I, and, I, and I like the... I like the, 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 the way the, the, the artwork is so good. It's such a good thing. Like the, the way it is uh, like made. Like the cartoonish mode is super cool. I love it. Okay, she's still in the in the My room's along here. 411. 411 is his room. In a hotel of this quality, a thief. thief. Yeah. Come on, Four, come seven. on, don't dawdle. 408, 410. It'll be a disaster if I miss that train. 411. You have locked the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign Of country. course, of course. Makes sense. Makes sense. Of course. We will enter. Okay. Now he opened the door. I'm not quite sure what is happening here, to be honest. The lock has not been tampered with. Uh, examine the door at the captain's room. Okay. We go to the captain's option room. We have some water there. Hmm. Water with traces of soap. The water is scented. Traces of soap. Door. Have the bath. A perfume bottle. Empty. Empty. Suggestive. Suggestive. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we have the. Perfume bottle. Oh, I am looking fresh, boys. Also, okay, I so can't do anything else here. Open the door. We also have the second room. Toilet. 
Mustache, golden one, perfect. Pick up a golden mustache. Perfect. Okay, anything here? We have the earrings. It is not the first time I've seen it. But where? Was it on the cutscene with the lady? Or I'm tripping? The earrings. So he had a girl with him. A wallet. The wallet is somewhat worn. It contains just over two hundred dollars and the usual cards. Okay. Nothing special. Okay, we also have the papers. Hmm, a fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. Yeah, okay. So Turkey, Bulgaria. All fill. Stamped reservation for the Bosphorus ferry. Okay, I love with his ah, uh, you know, like pachi, like hako pacho. This is just so nice. I I love it. I adore it. So we have some travel expenses. But how did these papers end up on the floor? floor? I mean, hypothetically speaking, it could be from the wind. Floors. It's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. True. The bed is skillfully made. Oh. Conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq. But the question. Retired as a captain. True. Only retired as a captain. But even if he was actually a captain, the real question that we have here is, uh, like, I wanted to say, but then I, my thoughts just went, what the flip? I can't remember. Earrings that we saw, bed, water, so a person was probably showering though. And also all these packages and everything and, and expenses. Ah, also we have these thingies too. Istanbul. For this fascinating city. Okay, I think this is it. Interact. Uh -huh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Is that it? Oops, 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 my bad, my, my bad, my bad. And anything else here we can find? Nothing. M maybe a mustache? Have that, least speaking? No. So chocolate bars and the last one. Be here. And a mustache. Beautiful. We have two out of four. Come to Poirot, my exquisitely sculpted. Fine. Come to Poirot. That's really fine. I love it. Now, uh, how could a thief get into the room? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. So, oh god, this is the map we had. So, the door has not been forced. I examined the bedroom door. There is no signs of break-in. Interrogate the neighbors. Time to question the nearest neighbors, which for 10. The train ticket. Yeah, the question is that I wanted to see. Why would a thief steal a ticket for a train and not steal a medal of honor? I don't know. But let's also ask the neighbors, though. That's also a really good question. They do. Uh, let me just ask for it then. Please clean up my room. The room is apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. I can't interrogate the neighbors, so I can't do it, or is it completed? Okay, so I can't do it for the moment. So is there anybody else we can interrogate? No. Okay, so 410 is the closest one we can interrogate, but they are not. In the 4 or 12? We can too. Nice. Go away, please. A brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Monsieur, I've been traveling all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Mm hmm. That's interesting, though. Okay, now let's. Put the pieces together though. So the neighbors couldn't tell me anything useful. I checked the neighbors but learned nothing of value. So we, we also have the second room that we can check out but nothing. The door has not been forced. The train ticket is not in the room. How could a thief get into the room? That's a really good question we have to answer. 
Uh, a thief may have entered through the window. A thief may have forced the hold, or a thief may have entered using a key card. I think the key card would be the main thing because through the window, it is not really possible because he's on the fourth floor. A thief may have forced the whole door. The, the, the door was specifically not forced. We saw it, and then he also had a key card, which is the key card is the only logical option to choose at this moment. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I love it. So now we have a new thing, uh, how to enter the room. Only a person with a pass key could have entered the room. Talk to the captain. I found several in interesting things in the room. Okay, so I'll just talk to the captain. Uh, breakfast. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour or so. Just a roll and some coffee. Uh, earrings? Why was there an earring in your room? An earring? A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. Of course you don't. Open the window? Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I think not. Unless the thief had wings. The bed made? is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We. How could the ticket... I think he had a girl over or something, or he had a person tra traveling with him. So, so tell me, is there really how the ticket could have disappeared? Uh, the captain invited someone. The bed is well made. The window is wide open. There are scattered papers on the floor and ink on the bed. I mean, the captain invited somebody and the earrings are really connectable, though. Makes sense. A woman spent the night in the room. A room and I spent in the room. Uh, door and this could also match because it makes sense. The wind blew on the papers. This is what put them down. Now we have the two things, the woman spent the night in the room and the wind blew on the papers, this is what pushed them down. So from the earrings we saw, there was a person probably in the in his room. Uh, he had somebody or he uh, also got here with, the, with someone and then she probably took a shower before leaving the room and also opened the windows which blew out the papers. The wind probably blew the papers so it kind of makes sense. On a bedside table, exactly, exactly. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. That was easy. <laughs> I love how he said that was easy. Okay, nice. Now we have the map even further. Could the wind have blown the ticket from the desk? Who is the woman who entered the room? How do I get this? I think that the wind blew the ticket from the desk. I think the woman, the captain, is pretending he stole the ticket. I mean, if the wind blew, even if the wind blew the ticket, it will still be in the room because the wind went from the from the window inside of the room, and all the papers were blown inside. So the woman stole it because it doesn't make any sense for the wind to blow the ticket. I think the woman stole it. A solid choice. Nice. And now we have who is the woman who entered the room. Uh, I think could be this one though. Think, that is not a good answer. I do no, really, it was her. I didn't pay any attention to the earrings. What the flip? I'm right again. That Happened to me a lot. Damn. Question the captain. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. The the girl in the elevator was so sus when we talked, so it, it is her. Captain Arbuthnot, I have examined your room. Much was revealed, possibly more than you expected. Rest assured, we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. As do I. <laughs> on the Orient Express. We? Oui? If you will be good enough, we Paco Pajo, make our trip. Paco Pajo, Helco Pajo. Movement yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. 
I had no visitors in my room. Confrontation. Which of these senses I spent most of my day in stable? Probably because he saw the books. We saw the bait papers saying that he was with the fun things are doing in Istanbul. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting, probably too. That clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key, probably too. And then the lie was I spent the night alone, I had no visitors in my room. But that was a lie, bro, you're lying. Confirm. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Albuthnot? Of course. I want you to find my ticket. Uh... Earrings. Can you explain the earring I found on the bedside table? An earring? Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travelers. They sent up a secretary. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. I hadn't noticed that she had lost an earring. And when did you invite this... Uh... Secretary, <laughs> we're looking for that was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm, I see. Never mind, it is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room. No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, uh, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine, please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby. I don't think this is the case. I think she stole it still. Question the captain. Is that it? Ask the desk clerk. How can I move faster? Is this... Am I moving faster? This is the same moment I have. Okay, I'll just proceed further to the... To the elevator and go back and ask the desk clerk. Clerk, whatever the heck his name is. Because as he was saying, I don't think this is the case, guys. I think the woman stole it, and I'm 99% sure that that's the case. But if it's not, then uh, the secretary must have do something. Hello there. Clean schedule. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. Oh. So that there are no guests in the room, of course. Speak to the chambermaid? May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No, 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 no. no. Do not distress yourself. We seek only information. I will summon her at once. <laughs> I will summon her. <laughs> I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Okay. Thank you very much. Hotel, a luxury hotel. The hotel to Gatlian is a perfect prelude for my journey. Yes, sir. Okay. Oopsie doopsie, we have to talk to the maid. So, maid, here I go. Here I come. Hey there. Room 411. Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you <laughs> Mademoiselle, I love how he's using French all, all the time. This is just so cool. I adore it. Like, the way he does it is super cool. Yeah. Maybe just me, but it just, it's super cool. I don't know. I love it. Uh, the ticket. A ticket on the desk when you entered the room. I'm sorry. I, I didn't notice a ticket. There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. The window? Did you open the window? Yes, we always air the rooms. Mm. Oh, but I forgot to close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping, and went to see. But it was nothing. But I'm afraid I left the window open. I'm so sorry. A window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what. <laughs> okay, love to see that, Hercule Poirot. Love to see that. Wow. Okay. Uh... So. Trevor changed the bed lines. Dirty bed lines is dropped out. 
Oh, this is gonna be tough. The ticket lands in the cart. Wind blows the ticket. The chamber parks her cart behind the desk. She has to park the cart behind her desk. Oh, I can change the... Okay, so there's two of these before. So she parks the cart. Hypothetically speaking, let's say. She opens up a window. She cleans the bed. Uh, the wind blows the ticket. The ticket lands and this went here. Bingo. That was super freaking nice. I'm a master at this stuff, bro. I'm a master. Nice. I explain to the captain where he'll find his ticket. Ah, okay. Wow, damn. I didn't thought this was the case. I didn't thought at all. Damn. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? So the missing train ticket complete train journey. Damn, nice. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. Mr. Poirot, I apologize. I believe my concern got the better of me. But why is there an earring though? That's a question. A case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. And that, I think, is that. Nice! That was crazy, I love it. What the flip? Uh, explain to Captain where he will find his ticket. That was also completed, so now we are good to go. And leave the hotel and park. Let's pack our stuff and go to the Orient Express and proceed further to the England. But the, the, the question is... This secretary person, let's say I believed it, but there's not a chance in this world I actually believed him when he said uh, he had stuff going on. Swear to God. I'm not sure if my mic is bugging out or I'm just tripping, but I think it is bugging out to some sense. Or maybe it's just my brain, but I don't know. But I never thought uh, I would uh, basically... I thought he was lying, I thought he had a person over and that person was basically talking to him or some sort of thing, so I never thought I would I would see like somebody there because to me that, that just didn't make sense at all. I thought I thought like uh, uh, we had uh, specific things, I thought he, he had the person over or he did something stupid or who the heck knows, but actually this happens with the wind and the ticket, I would have never guessed that, like it just... Not coming to my brain, to be honest. If you give me yours, I'll hang on to mine. But as your secretary... As my secretary, you see to the bags, Hector. Yes. Yes, sir. That man, I have a curious... Impression of him. Yeah, I have to... Observing a wild animal. Uncaged. Can I just talk to him? No, I can't. Okay, so I have to just leave the ho leave the hotel. We must leave for the station. Our bags are in the taxi. Okay. Like the ticket. It was a case most difficult, but somehow Hercule Poirot. Hercule <laughs> Poirot managed to do it. As always, everybody, Hercule Poirot on your service. Leave the hotel. We leave in the hotel to go to the train station and do stuff. So it's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Okay, guys, so, uh, first chapter is done, first episode of uh, us basically going for the ticket and finding the ticket and, er and everything is done. So, yeah, I will, guys, please you to hit the like and sub button. I appreciate your support in this episode. If you want to see more of Hercule, I mean, uh, I need to sleep, I'm super tired. So, next ep episode, I promise you, is going to be one and a half hours long. Uh, just to apologize for everything in this short episode of like 30 minutes. 
So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed Her Hercule Poirot and Agatha Christie uh, uh, Murder on the Orient Extras, please hit the like and sub button. Uh, game is cartoonish. It has it's low budget though. I see it is the low budget one, but it is good. It is good. After all, the game is really good. I adore it. I I, I love it, and the story is gonna be really good because the game is ten hours long. So the first mystery was basically the introduction or a tutorial to how to complete the other mysteries. But uh, to be honest, it was easy. But I ha I had to think. I had to think because. It wasn't that simple though. Istanbul train station, December 15, 2023, 3 p.m. So it, it wasn't that easy after all because he lost his ticket and everything. But uh, still, it is, it is, it was decent to be honest. Pacific. 231G558. There she is, Poirot. The most celebrated train. Damn, that's crazy. I love it. My eyes fill with tears of pride. It is time we were aboard, my friend. Follow me. The wagon lead conductor, Pierre Michel, will direct you to your compartment. Lead the way, book. Okay, they have nice. So, guys, I would love to end the ep and uh, I would love to end the episode here. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like and sub button. It's the half an hour ep episode, but I promise you the next one is going to be one and a half hours long. Just to apologize uh, for this thing that happened. So it is, you know, the lower episode. But thank you so much for the support, love and happiness. I appreciate you a lot. I am really happy to have you guys here. And we have the tr two trained passengers. So approximately what I saw is basically we will have uh, the journey of the Orient Express the mystery so we stole two of them the orient express is train of a legend and captain arbushu has lost his ticket on the orient on the orient express my friend book has asked me to investigate so guys thank you so freaking much if you have enjoyed if you have oh chapter one the departure so if you have enjoyed this episode please hit the like and sub button and i will guys see you in the next one probably tomorrow Thank you so much for the support, and if you want to see more of Murder on the Orient Extra, please, please hit the like and sub button. We're so close to past 10.5k 10 subs, so we could probably go to 11 by the end of the year if we continue with this pace. It is incredible. But yeah, thank you so much. See you in the next one probably tomorrow, and probably for the next month or so, this game is going to be up, and also try and five uh, Clockwork Conspiracy. I love you guys. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next one probably tomorrow. Tomorrow. What the fuck? I can't even speak. Tomorrow. And yeah, if you guys expected Miles Morales or Assassin's Creed Mirage or uh, any other new gaming serial, I will have it. Just this game came to my eye and I was like, you know, I spotted it and I was like, it's the mystery game. It has to be good. It is 10 hours long. It's newer one. The story is good. It is done by I, I, uh, by Agatha Christie. So like the 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 story itself could not be bad. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, please like and sub button. See you guys in the next one probably tomorrow. I appreciate you a lot and have a nice evening, morning or afternoon. Peace out. Bye.